Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright. Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the part three video of the June 22nd, 2018 triplet group healing set of healings. And uh, the theme for this set is owning your own authority, non-resistance to others in authority, and also confidence. And this particular video will be a flower healing video. Woohoo! And as many people know, I do have a whole bunch of flower healing techniques for different really cool things. And those can be found in the flower healing playlist. Uh, which I'm, I will probably link at the end of this video too, if you wish to look at that. Um, but anyway, so this video, um, I'm calling it flower healing for healthy self-assertiveness. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Healthy self-assertiveness. Um, but also for owning your own authority, for non-resistance to others in authority, and for confidence. Uh, so, so yeah, so it's going to be kind of for all those four things. But if you get tired of saying all those four things during the video, um, just healthy self-assertiveness is good enough. And um, like I said in the intro video, this is good for adults and kids, uh, this technique. Because, you know, kids, childhood is an interesting time when you don't have a lot of power. But yet you're supposed to be confident in school. You're supposed to be confident in sports or, you know, extracurricular activities. You're supposed to be developing your own sense of your identity and who you are and what you want to do with your life. But yet, you know, there's so many examples of which you don't have control, you know. So I think it takes a very nuanced uh, sense of owning your own authority. You know, a very healthy sense, a very healthy ability to have healthy self-assertiveness, particularly when you're a kid. You know, because it's really easy to be like, ah, I'm not in control, ah, I have no choice, I have a test tomorrow, ah, you know. And uh, so anyway, this healing will, this technique will help kids um, as well as adults. Um, maybe you're too passive and you're not self-asserting, you're not owning your own authority. Or maybe you are asserting yourself but in a negative way, like with a self-destructive behavior, like overeating, over shopping, um, be if you're a kid being disruptive in school or doing some really self-destructive behavior in a secret way you know as a kid or you know or as an adult too <laughs> you know so um so anyway let's get started so it's the easiest technique um and whenever i say make energy flowers you could also instead make balls of colored energy if you prefer big balls of energy as opposed to big flowers of energy it's just a, a shape difference doesn't matter okay um, so let's center ourselves first really quickly so here's an image a beautiful beautiful very advanced level drawing that I've made <laughs> of, uh, of you you know it's an image of you or me and uh, if you were standing this is how your grounding would look right so here you're standing, here's your aura around you, your grounding goes all the way up ideally to your third chakra, which is just below the camera on me. So your grounding goes all the way up this high, okay? That's your third chakra because your sternum bone goes down and when that ends, that's where your third chakra is. Third chakra has to do with taking action, getting things done, you know, having, feeling awake when you're awake um, and when you're sleeping to sleep well. It's very sort of two different contrasting abilities in that one chakra, sleeping well, but also getting things done when you're awake. Okay, um, so anyway, um, you make your grounding really wide, going down all the way down to the core of the earth, as wide as your whole aura, and as it goes up as high as your third chakra, okay? So let's do that first, uh, make a big, um, we're just gonna do a one color earth energy soak, so let's do red or orange or yellow, whichever you choose. So I feel like for me, red is going to help me release the most right now. It's just an intuitive call. So just pick one of those, red or orange or yellow. So I made a big red grounding all the way down to the core of the earth, right? And all the way as high as my third chakra. So you can do that too, as wide as your whole aura, okay? So make it nice and wide, guys. And that helps you release even more when you need to. Okay, so that's just grounding, and that's very, very good. You can have that all the time, but you may have to redo it 
You know, if you're feeling spacey, if you're feeling frustrated, probably you should redo your grounding. Okay, great. So good job with that. And now a soak is you just use that grounding like a straw and you bring up an extra amount of earth energy, the color of your grounding, all the way up, 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 and you soak your whole energy field in it. All the way up. You bring it up to the top of your aura. So I'm going to bring up red earth energy all the way up, 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 all the way to the top of my aura. And you can do that with orange or yellow or red earth energy, whatever you prefer. Ah, oh, and that's very centering and comforting. And it also kind of jump starts your grounding and the releasing that you need. If you want more of that, there's a video called Tri-Color Earth Energy Soak, which is six minutes. Okay, so now that we're a little more centered, um, Okay, so flower healing is you just, I like opening my hands to do it. Um, so it's like there's no flowers and then I make them. You just make them because as a spirit, you have mad, you have cool powers that you didn't know you have. <laughs> okay, so just with your intention, you know, you don't have to move your hands. Like if you're cooking, you could just, you know, make the flowers out in front of you. You know, if you're using both hands or you're driving, just make the flowers out in front of you. <laughs> but anyway, I like using my hands. So just make flowers that are uh, your healing energy, any rainbow colors you want, don't even think about the colors, you don't have to. Um, that is the exact vibration that you need for healthy self-assertiveness. The exact vibration of your healing energy that you need for owning your own authority, for non-resistance to others in authority, and for confidence, okay? And go ahead, so you made all these energy flowers out in front of you, or all these colored balls of light of your healing energy out in front of you. And then the next important step is you ask your angels to bless and double check your flowers. So angels, can you please bless and double check my flowers? And your angels may, you know, change them around a little. My angels did that. They just made a few edits and changed and added to them. And then go ahead and give those flowers or those balls of energy to yourself. And don't worry about where they go. They're just going to go wherever they need to go. Okay. All right. So let's do that again. We did that three times in the healing. So that's okay. We can do that three times here. <clears throat> so go ahead and um, again, hands are optional. <laughs> but go ahead and just with your intention, with the, the smart part of your spirit, don't overthink it. Um, use your own healing energy and make energy flowers the exact vibration or vibrations that you need for healthy self-assertiveness for owning your own authority for non-resistance to others in authority and for confidence so go ahead and do that make a whole bunch of flowers or balls of energy and then just say angels can you bless and double check my flowers There you go. So you gave your angels a little time to work and then go ahead and give those flowers to yourself, to your aura, to your chakras, whatever. It doesn't matter because they're going to go wherever they're needed. You don't have to think about it. Hmm. Okay, let's do that one last time. And again, it's not really a last time. You could redo this video as much as you want because your angels are always checking, so they're not going to let you do it too much. Okay, um, so go ahead and um, create energy flowers of your healing energy for that would help you with healthy self-assertiveness. Again, there'll be probably all sorts of rainbow colors, but you don't have to overthink it. You just made a whole bunch of energy flowers of your healing energy that you need for healthy self-assertiveness, for owning your own authority for confidence and non-resistance to others in authority. And then just ask your angels to bless and double check your flowers. And then go ahead and give those angel, give those uh, flowers, energy flowers to yourself. If you want, you know, take deep breaths when you do that. You can think about receiving. All right, wonderful. 
So let's finish up with just a quick, uh, again, a one color earth energy soak. So redo your crowning, make it big and wide, as wide as your whole aura, red or orange or yellow. I'm gonna do yellow this time. And then go ahead and use that grounding like a straw and a big wide giant straw all the way down to the core of the earth and just bring up earth energy, extra earth energy from the core of the earth, just like as if you're in a forest. Forests, uh, in forests, trees do this for you. But you know, we're gonna be our own tree, okay? So just bring up a whole bunch of extra earth energy and soak your whole space with it. Whatever color you like, red or orange or yellow. Ah, and you can just you know, breathe deeply, think about letting go. I can let go, I can receive. All right, great, good job, guys. Woohoo! So you just did flower healing for healthy self-assertiveness, for owning your own authority, for non-resistance to others in authority, and for confidence. So good job, guys. <laughs> okay, um, and you know, like with all, really all healing, um, the more you do it, the better. So you could certainly do this every day if you wish. Um, you know, it, it won't be too much, you know, because your angels bless each time and so they're going to edit and bless it and make sure it's okay. All right? Okay, bye!